how do I know if what I am going through is a case of demonic oppression? You see, demonic oppressions can manifest in different forms, but there are three key elements. There are three key elements that can help us to identify them. And they are, number one, fruits that are not of the Holy Spirit and God's promises. Demonic oppressions can manifest in different forms, but I want to give you the key three elements that can help us to identify them. Number one, fruits that are not of the Holy Spirit and God's promises. Two, discernment. Number three, the demonic oppression test. Let's try to examine what these things mean let's look at the fruit for instance uh, fruit uh, fruits that are fruits that are not of the holy spirit and god's promises i'll give you an example the fruits of the the fruits of the holy spirit include love joy peace faithfulness patience self control and self control galatians 5:22 to 23 if you suddenly see your life producing fruits that are contrary to these fruits then you may be under demonic oppression take a look at what um as take a look if you were to draw something or carry out um um an examination on yourself and you and you put if you are if i was teaching this on the blackboard and you write on the right on the left hand side the fruits of the holy spirit and on the on the opposite let's see what is opposite the opposite of love now on this side the fruit of the holy spirit is love what's the opposite of love animosity dislike and en enmity hate hatred ill will indifference neglect apathy coolness disloyalty that's the opposite of love is disloyalty the opposite of love misery sorrow treachery torment fear and unhappiness that's where the, the when you're lacking the fruit of the spirit. So the opposite of it. So we're trying to look at how do you know that the issue is now is demonic oppression and you need that deliverance. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is joy. Now the opposite of that is depression, misery, sadness, sorrow, and happiness, discouragement, dislike, and mourning. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is peace. The opposite of peace is going to be disagreement, discord, agitation, disharmony, distress, fighting, frustration, upset, war, and worry. So where those exist, you can tell, you can see that an individual needs deliverance because now we are trying to carry out a test to check whether, how do you know that you're under demonic attack. Now also the fruit of the Holy Spirit is patience or call it forbearance. Now forbearance, the opposite of forbearance or patience is agitation, excess, impatience, indulgence, and... Uh, Temperance, intolerance, I mean, intemperance, uh, um, intolerance, wildness, involvement. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is also kindness. Now, the opposite of that, whatever is the opposite of kindness, is coming from another source, not the Holy Spirit source, but from the demonic source. What is the opposite of kindness? Hostility, indecence indifference, intolerance, meanness, masslessness, selfishness, thoughtlessness, uh, thoughtlessness, uh, barbarousness, cruelty, harshness. So also on the tab of the Holy Spirit, the fruit of the Holy Spirit is goodness. All the things we are seeing are in Galatians 5, 22 to 23 goodness and we are carrying out an inventory we examining ourselves to say how do you now be able to detect to detect or discern because i told you the three key elements um to help us to identify the where demonic operations exist it is in three 
forms the demonic operations can manifest in, in in different forms but the key elements i'm talking about which can help you to identify them those operations is the fruits that are not of the holy spirit and god's promises discernment and then the demonic operation test so what i'm trying to to give you now is a demonic oppression test to see whether because somebody may say how do i know that i really need deliverance so now goodness is what i'm talking about it's one of the fruit of the holy spirit what is the opposite of goodness corruption cruelty dishonesty dishonor evil immorality meanness handicap hindrance loss in this sense wickedness the fruit of the holy spirit is also faithfulness what is the opposite of faithfulness when you are disloyal treacherous or treachery disregard inconsistency dishonesty falseness and the fruit of the holy spirit is gentleness but where these exist then you know demons are at work where hardness imperviousness and roughness where there is roughness then that's not the fruit of the holy spirit another spirit is at work and lastly galatians tells us that the fruit of the spirit is self-control what is the opposite of self-control Gratif- you know gratification indulgence self indulgence excessiveness immoderacy intemperance overindulgence and uh, unrestraint so you can see that best on that um, test it gives you an idea of when the fruits of evil spirits are cropping up in your life and you need to res- uh, to to resist them violently I've classified um, these the result from what I have just shared with you into internal and external signs that show that you need deliverance of violent prayers. The internal signs are developments within you, while the external signs are developments outside of you. In my 10 minutes, let us explore and look at um, classification um, 1a which is internal developments that point to a need for deliverance and violent prayers now take for example if you suddenly see yourself developing developing hatred for the things of god or you are developing an unforgive uh, uh, un, you're developing unforgiveness and an unforgiveness in your heart over an offense against you that refuses to leave that is anti-love that is the anti-love spirit now in operation you may need to pray violent prayers to command back your freedom now violent prayers remember it's not shouting i told you some mindset say i reject this and you become conscious about it you reject it it must not find room to uh, express itself in your life now looking at the internal developments that point us to a need for deliverance and violent prayers you would also need to look at something like if you suddenly start getting depressed suddenly you start getting depressed feeling hopeless discouraged and separated you are that kind that is withdrawing that is anti-joy that is an anti-joy spirit working you will love to isolate i'm not talking about consecration you isolate yourself from everybody you need violent prayers and deliverance and another internal development that you need to look at um, that points you to the, your need of deliverance internal development is what i'm talking to you all right um if you start for instance if you suddenly start having severe disagreements in your home or in ministry with other ministry ministers and you be uh, uh, and you suddenly become worrisome you develop the urge to fight back at any offense that's anti-peace the anti-peace spirit is in operation you need deliverance from it or take for instance 
if you suddenly start losing your cool and patience with people and start getting agitated over trivial issues, trivial matters, if you suddenly start